I love Dominican women, man. Oh, I spend my. more money on Dominican women than the Yankees spend on a farm team. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. For real. Word up. What up, what up Walmart truck at, man? <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Roommates. Just in case y'all are wondering, the vibes are still immaculate, a Playmaker original. Um, today we have the man, the myth, the legend, um, comedian, comedic, com I was about to say com comedic, no, I was a comedian, but I was about to say, co com anyways, y'all y'all get it, <clears throat> comedian, actor, Arthur, um, Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> We're going to restart this. Yeah, Holy no, 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 Author. Author. God. Emmy nominated. <laughs> Two time Emmy, Emmy nominated. nominated. Two time Emmy nominated. <laughs> Tracy Morgan, man. I just butchered that intro. My fault, bro. My fault. It's all good. But it's, I, we appreciate you coming and, on, and man. I appreciate my legendary Knicks being fan. here, man. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, big Knicks fan. Big Knicks fan. Went, went from the nosebleeds to, to Courtside. Yeah. Still. My first game was with my dad in 77. So it's like bigger than the game for me is every time I'm there, I always look up to where we sat. Mm -hmm. And I, my dad died of AIDS in 87. So it just, I know he's looking down. So when we there, I ask him to please take care of the, 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 the players, help them stay away from injuries, and let's win. And, I'm, and so far, yeah. my dad, we won 50 games. <laughs> 50. He, he's we been working this season. He's working so this season. So this team, for me, is a, they got New York City on fire, the spirit is there, and they look like they love playing together. I'm there on the floor hearing the communication, and it's just great to see the floor general running the show. My guy got the most rebounds out of any guard in the league. So we there. We ain't scared of nobody. <laughs> New York City, man. No this smoke. is New York, man. If you play for any New York team, the Yankees, the Knicks, the Giants, you're a gladiator. So we are gladiators. This is New York City, baby. This is where King Kong died. <laughs> we wait, got wait, wait, I got I to gotta pause you. You a Giants fan? Yeah, I got a box over there. I'm down with the, oh. the owners love me. The owners love me. Yes, it's okay. Oh, man. What? What's wrong? He, Eagles, commanders. Oh, uh, just a game. I respect it. I respect it. I love them. It's a game. It. They're He's, competitive. He said that, say that now that they bad. If they win the Super Bowl, you like, yo, man, forget the commander, forget the Eagles. I don't fool with Josh. I don't Kevin fool with JB. Fans, so I give him a pass. That's Jalen. He played for New York. I was sick because I was I went to the the Commanders game where they played the Giants, and they were like, yo, Trace is in the other box. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. I went and said, what's up? I was, just what's up? I was sitting there sick because we were losing. <laughs> we were getting smacked by the Giants. They had like two yeah, wins DC, at this point. You know what time it was. Yeah, he got a Giants. I mean, big old Giants jersey on. I'm just like. Man, what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? I was just, but, luckily, he ain't, he ain't seen nothing. He wasn't bragging, so I was like, all right, at least no, it's cool. Yeah, I'm humble about it, man. I try to be humble about that. I love my sports, you know, but it's good. That's how I feel about the team that we have now. Dope. How was your, um? what was your reaction to our last game of the season, game 82? Against the Bulls? Yeah, historic. Well, my nerves are shot. <laughs> my nerves are shot. But we won. That's all that matters. Maybe, maybe you know. They played a hard game. It was a great game. It was an incredible game. It was an incredible game. My man, my man uh, McBride doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Bobo doing his thing. It's good. Mm -hmm. I was happy to walk out of that stadium, out of that arena, with a win. When you have the chance to grab second seed, you you take it. You don't duck it. Yo, no. listen. If you lose a game on purpose, you first of all they not trained that way. They never been coached that way. You win. You play to win. So if you lose on purpose, you're a loser. You don't deserve to be a champion. Mm. 
We don't do that. We not scared of nobody. Mm -hmm. Everybody, we should have lost. We don't want. Nah, we win. And we're going to win the next ones too. I'm going to be at the game Saturday. It's all good with us. We not scared <laughs> of nobody. We ain't even thinking about Boston. You know, we did the Philly before. When they had him be, we not thinking about He ain't even healthy anyway. He done been taken off the court twice. <laughs> I Twice. should laugh at that. Yo, you need him in the locker room before the game. But I'm, I'm over here like, yo, man, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, like, I should give a speech, man, because I got hit by a truck, 18 wheeler, eight years ago. Next man, man up, man. I almost man. lost my life. I was in that coma for 10 years, 10 days. My daughter was only 10 months old. So I had to fight. I'm telling my team to fight. Fight. We got an identity. We gritty, we grimy, and we don't give up. If, if Ever. We, if we heard that before the game, man, it's, yeah. it's a wrap. Well, luckily, yeah. it's being recorded. I'm living yeah, proof, yeah. man. I'm yeah, living got proof, man. I'm here. And I'm still doing comedy, making the world laugh. You embody me. I almost lost York. my life. I broke every bone in my face. My ribs were broke. My spine was touched. My femur was in little pieces. I got an iron rod. Excuse me. And the pinky. Damn, that, that was a, that that was a loud. If I could do it, that they could do it. That was a loud Yeah, man. If I could do it, they could do it. Let me see that. Let me see that. If um, I could do it, money, they could do it. I don't know sure. if I can fit this. Period. Man. For sure. You embody New York. That. Thank you. I mean, going on 50 years of fandom, right? Yeah. Basically. Huh? 77? You're going on 50 First years game? of fandom. Long 47 time. years. Seven, I was nine. Now, right? I was nine years old my first game. 23? 24? Yeah, 47. What did you say? You said 47? 47. Oh, now they said 20. Oh, Long time, man. Oh, man. I've been watching the Knicks do it. Long time. What was I'm, your... Who was your favorite Knicks team? My favorite Knicks team? Yeah. Patrick. I gotta say Patrick. I don't call Allen Houston Allen Houston. I call him Agua. That's <laughs> H2O. <laughs> yeah. I bought my whole team jerseys for the Rutgers last year. That's my guys. I'm very close to my Knicks team, man. Everybody knows that in the world. Mm -hmm. We ain't scared of nobody. Put your five on the floor, man. That's it's very true, but I think um, going forward, I think there's some people going to be scared of us. Just oh, they shook not, now. Not because not because what you think, because of a certain person roundhouse kicking somebody. I'll tell you who it was. I'll tell you, but I'll tell you. I saw that story game. behind the it. shoes. It was his fault because I was well, wearing I was Bruce wearing Lee's, some Bruce Lee's. He bought me them a couple of days before. I was just really too inspired. You know, with well, the Bruce Lee, you know so I, I just bought the whole team. I just dropped twenty and got him some Bruce. I got everybody some sneakers. Yeah, man, don't so, kick nobody. We just got precious nobody, sneakers man. today. I'm just not. I can't he, jump that high to kick. They did. He did the work to figure yeah, out thanks. the sneaker brand that every player was with, and then made sure to get them that brand. He bought Julius yeah, some Skechers. Mm. Crazy. Yeah, Crazy. I had. A super uh, fan. I, Steve is the equipment manager, and see the assistant equipment manager, and he's got everybody's number and their size. So I just said, yo, I'm show my team, I appreciate them, and thank you for all the entertainment. So I bought all of y'all some sneakers. Appreciate that. Talk the, playoffs, the playoffs are starting. Talk about the story from your perspective when you had to give Tracy some shoes. You didn't know if you were going to get him back or not, and then you got yeah, him back no, threefold. Yeah, we, we were, uh, we, I forgot which game it was. One, Justin Thomas went to. We won, I forgot. Oh my God, what game was that? It wasn't sack. I don't know. Um, whatever game that was, I had a triple double. So I'm talking to Justin Thomas after That's the game. A lot of games, bro. That's a lot of games. Oh, six games. I went. Damn, you, um, you know, I went to my daughter. Yeah, he did. Nice. He pulled. He pulled up after the game. Was like, Yo, Jay Hart had a triple dub, man. I need them kicks. And I was looking at the Demar uh, PEs. I was looking. I was like, Oh, the the Frozen's. So I, I gave it to me. He was like, Don't worry, I got you. Next game, came back. He gave Mallory just walked in like Josh Tracy Tracy wanted me to give these to you. They were gift wrapped. I had the Bruce Lees. I had the the package that was like the the Kobe package, the oh, five that, with he, the white oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. like yeah, yeah the undefeated package. Yep. Yeah. You know I mean? I it got was literally the, whole the, team the, some yeah, Bruce the next Lees game, now, but the yellow and black. Yeah. Yellow and black, and that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I, was, I won't kick nobody that man. I promise. <laughs> Y'all got my word. I won't be too inspired. I just Jalen. He's taking a lot of hard charges, man. He leads the league in it. Do I? He lead the league in those Probably. charges. I did at one point. I don't know if I still do. Probably. I know if I would have been hit like that, I'm somebody gonna get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna hit the clutch free throws. <laughs> and you'll be good. I really appreciate the team that we have. I'm just glad that our front office did their thing. 
Like, we are serious contenders now. Everybody better be shook, kids from Brooklyn. Everybody better be. Now all we need is my man from the Nets. <laughs> they can't comment on that. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I'm commenting on it. Yeah, you can. I can. I'm commenting on it. Nets, yeah, Nets Twitter I know is not going to be want. happy. Nah, Nets Twitter. They, nah. <laughs> they've had it with our shenanigans. I have no idea who he's talking about. We're going to get him over here. I'm going to send my sister over there to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna some Bruce Lee's are gonna show up at his door. Probably get, get a pregnant or something. I don't know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I stay having babies, man. I stay, I love my babies, man. Yeah. I'm old school. I don't pull out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like prison. When I come in, I come in. When I come in, I come in. I make babies, kid. I'm probably gonna make some babies tonight. Tonight? Yeah, I'm making babies tonight. How many babies do you have? On the books or off? Combined. Oh, I'm trying to break Eddie Murphy's record. Let's put it like What's that. What's his record? I'm, I'm trying to break Bob Marley's record. You're trying to break I got that. hit by Walmart truck, kid. I'm good. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. true. We ain't got to worry about no dope. I ain't never going to run out no dope. You up. <laughs> like 200 million is just my, just my annuity. <laughs> How much that gives off a month? Yeah, what a, what make a, a baby every other week. <laughs> what a woman you want to feel it, bro. Straight Dominican women. <laughs> <laughs> I might go to Sassua tomorrow. Oh my god! Take my uh, private jet over there to Sassua. Talk oh. your shit. Right, man. I love Dominican women, man. Oh, I spend my. more money on Dominican women than the Yankees spend on their farm team. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! For real, word up. What that Walmart truck at, man? Let them know. I'm out there on the turnpike now. I'm out there on the turnpike now looking for another truck. (laughs) You find it, let me know. Me and you together, brother. I'm trying to get an Amazon truck. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) I get by Amazon truck. Yo, one time I did a show. Oh, my God, bro. In front of all J.P. Morgan, the the, the, the CEO of J.P. Morgan, and I told her it would be an honor for me to one day get hit by one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paid, kid. Oh my God. I ain't got to do, I might buy the Knicks oh. after that. You might. I oh. could buy the Knicks after that. <laughs> All y'all get raises, don't even worry about it. So, <laughs> I mean, obviously we're we're like joking about it, but Joking. Do you not hear this, man? <laughs> I know. I'm dead ass. Is it, was it worth it? <laughs> was it worth it? I got my beach chill on the side of the turnpike. So, so you're like <laughs> waiting. Uh, uh, <laughs> that answers my question. Get my Amazon truck. Oh shit. Oh, oh, J- JB has left the set. <laughs> I'm dead. Dead oh, air. Yeah. For real. I'm out there. <laughs> so Josh, we got Tommy John, second skin. It makes me feel confident, and, uh, comfortable. I just can't go a day without wearing this stuff, man. It's just amazing. What are your thoughts on that? For me, man, it, it's comfortable, it's lightweight. The biggest thing for me, it doesn't ride up your leg. I think that's the biggest thing. I like being comfortable. I hate boxers riding up your leg. You got to pull them down, doing all that, man. I like, I love these because they don't ride up. They're comfortable to lightweight, man. So shout out to Tommy John. How many times are you going to say they don't ride up? They don't ride up. I said it three times. The same, We're doing bro. a promotion. 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 <laughs> What's so funny? I'm just happy that I found boxers that don't ride up. Get 20% off your first order right now at TommyJohn.com slash roomies. Make sure you get a pair of Tommy Johns today. Yeah, bro. Yo. Y'all don't want hey, me to bro. go get my That's phone. Real. Y'all hey. don't want me to go get my phone. I got material for no, years. No, no. <laughs> no, man. For years. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, you need a you need a beer. You need a Luke breather for a sec. No, bring me my phone, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is what I want to see right here. Yeah, I gotta see some new material, bro. We I went from uh, we went from the most hype pregame speech you've ever seen to just, <laughs> to just laughing. Blast it. This is like comedy bag. special. That's what we need. That's tray bag. That's how I get down. That's how I get down. <laughs> I can go from here. That's why the acting is so superb, man. You gotta stay in the moment. This is the t- this is the same dude that twenty five minutes before we started he was like, man, you see his cameras. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. Yes. We're like, what? What? And then, then this. And then this. I told you I pop. <laughs> I pop. I gave. The, you know when I 
when I came out the coma, the first person I talked to was Eddie Murphy. He made me laugh. I love you, Ed. Word up, word up, Martin. Word up, Arsenio. Love y'all. OGs. I know they're going to be watching this. Period. How you know... You asked me earlier what was one of my proudest moments in Madison Square Garden. Yeah. It wasn't a basketball game. Just two weeks ago, you know, Dolan owns the Beacon Theater. Mm. And we did a big show there for the Garden of Dreams. And that was my proudest moment. We raised $2 million for inner city kids. Me, Conan, Jim Gaffigan, uh, Josh, I forget his name. All these singers, Sheik, all of them sang. It was a glorious night, man. You know why I was so proud? Because I was one of those inner city kids. And I had somebody there that supported me and guided me. So I got to give back. I, if I'm in a position to give back, why not? Is that your pager? Is that no, this one is, of your Dominican women? No, this <laughs> is actually my pump, my diabetic pump. No, I feel like shit. Yeah, great through, job, guys. No, Sorry. Like sure. Great been, job. My bad. <laughs> I've been through a lot. <laughs> Let me see what else I got. I think there's a, a car outside for me. <laughs> Look at all this material, Jay. Look at all this. Is that a no no tap? Look at this. All need, the all right, so Damn. How does that still squirreling? There's no way. That says 27916. Wait, how much? Work. Seven nine sixteen. When I no I write seven in, nine sixteen. Yeah. That's the July, sixteenth. Oh, July. It's twenty four. Uh, 9th, twenty sixteen. Oh, all material since then. All I do is write every day. Write one word to spark a whole bit. Say a word. To say a word. Any word. Well, hold on. Before you do that, that's a that's a exercise that Martin Lawrence taught me when I was a baby. He would put an orange on the table and say. Make fun of that. You got to find the funny in that. All right. Make, all right, make all right, fun make of, of that. Make fun of him. <laughs> make fun of that. Right Ain't there. Ain't nothing funny about y'all. Yeah, on, that's my dog. Come, Ain't no fun, come on, man. funny about man. none of y'all. Come on, man. Ain't nothing funny about you can make, just make, just, just all. All right, make fun of him. <laughs> that one with the hat on. Yeah, the black hat. Make this fun is, of that. I'm this not is, comfortable This is with payback him. for always. <laughs> this is payback for laughing off set. Oh, yeah. All they do is laugh at me on set. You got the smile of a serial killer. You look like you had chopped his wife up Yo. and bury under the kitchen floor and then join the search party looking for him. What do you look like? I'm not comfortable with him. Yeah, so I'm not right. funny with uh, him. You gotta, when we do uh, edits, you, you, like gotta put Mike's, you gotta put, put Mike's face on the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta put in a smile. The black dude over there looked like somebody off of First 48. <laughs> She looked like he'll go to sleep in the confession room. Not even anybody that gets charged with homicide and goes to sleep in the confession room. They guilty. He did it. <laughs> that dude did it. They always put their arm in his sleeve and go to sleep. He did it. He did it. You know what? Laughter is the highest form of intelligence in the universe. A scientist from NASA could send a rocket up into space, but I can make you. Smart. You gotta be smart to do this. Time. You know how smart Eddie Murphy is? Him, Tina Fey, Mike Tyson, they are incredibly intelligent. You gotta be very intelligent to make people laugh. You gotta be like so quick on your To toes. get Tracy Morgan, mm -hmm. you gotta come see me. This is not something I'm all those internet internet comedians, I don't deal with that. I don't deal with none of that. My OGs is Martin, Eddie, and Arsenio. That's who I deal with. I have, oh, geez. I have a question since yes. my, my dad used to watch Martin growing up growing up, um whenever it came out. And then Nick is I, my guy, man. And then I he made me like I used to watch it. When it was on TV, I watched it with him. What was one of the your favorite skits from that show? That, like, I don't have no favorite. It's just a different muscle. Nah, bro. I, when I, I do I, when I do TV, it's a different muscle than movies. When I did when I did 30 Rock. It wasn't like a live audience. Martin was a live audience. Mm -hmm. 30 Rock was like filming a movie every day. Mm -hmm. There's no audience there. You got to be funny <laughs> to do that, to do movies. Ain't no audience. There's nobody you can react to. There's no reaction. You got to know it. You got to do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't do that. Then there's stand-up. That's a different muscle. That's you in front of, It's just only thing between me and those 5,000 people <clears throat> is the mic. Is the mic. And anything goes into that, they react. 
So that's God working through me to them. Mm-hmm. It's just like basketball. They don't hear nothing when they're on the court. They're moving at the speed of light. So communication on, they moving at the speed of light when they're out there. Speed of light. They moving yeah. at the speed of light. Not that this is not like last chance you. Look like high school dudes out there. You ever watch that on Netflix? Last <laughs> chance? I love it. That black coach, I love him. What's the name again? The, uh, but the, when you were the pros, yeah. I never watched the basketball one. No, never watched the basketball one. I've only watched the, the football one. The football one is good. Yeah, the, no, with the white one. coach. No, you, white coach. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. you can tell there's something about that dude. The football one? Yeah. Those coaches, I think they're getting off just yelling at black kids. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's but the funny. basketball one, lie. the black dude, he could see he loved those kids. Yeah, he cares. And he loves the game. They're not yeah. just young. They're mature. Yeah. Two different things. You could be young. Look at Michael Jackson, eight years old, singing that song. Michael was very mature. He'd been here before. You got to think about, look at life. You got to look at life. Jesus Christ was the only human being on the planet that ever walked around the whole globe. So he couldn't go back to Bethlehem. They would look at him like he was something that fell out the sky. I can't go back to where I'm from. They don't care about my rep. They don't care about none of that. Life went on. You leave the ghetto, you can't take people with you. But you, I got my cousin with me because my cousin is the one around me to go, remember when? There was a time it wasn't this. There was a time when I didn't have the time. I come for the projects. 212 Troop Avenue, the projects. Can't go back there. I go back there, I better not go empty-handed. I go back with tons of food and clothes and toys. And there's still people looking that I grew up with that hate me. Because I had, when I first started, I had survivor's guilt. Why did I make it and some of my friends got murdered? You know why I don't really listen to hip hop like that? Or deal with the streets like that? Because that's where the trauma happened. My friends went to jail forever. Some of them died. That's why I was traumatized. It's hard where I came from. I'm right across the street from Marcy, Tompkins. Then on the other side was Sumner. So we had to hold it out on both ends. When did you realize comedy was a way out? My dad. My dad did stand-up comedy in Vietnam. I'm just mimicking my dad. My dad had more talent in his one pinky than I got in my whole body. He was hilarious. Then my other uncle, Fatty Love, Mike. Fatty Love got a whole family full of women pregnant. (laughs) Three sisters pregnant. Had the stinkest feet in the world. But I love sleeping in the room with him because he was the one, two o'clock in the morning as a kid, he'd get up and go, go in the kitchen and fix peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That was my Uncle Mike. So that's where I get my sister human from. Three sisters. Can we go back to that for a second? <laughs> charming. Yeah. It's fat and charming. <laughs> wow. Fat and charming. That's where they- this is where I get my sister human from, my father and my Uncle Mike. And it's all in me. So when I'm on stage, I talk about growing up, and I, I inject my sense of humor into it, make it funny. But it was really sad. It was really sad. My childhood was sad. And then I got to high school, and that's where I exploded around my peers, making them laugh in the lunchroom. People would cut class, three periods, four periods, just to laugh. Me and my boy Leroy snapping on each other, snapping. But I would act my snaps out. Then I got into show business. Four months after I went to the workshop, I was on Def Jam. I was on Def Jam. And my wife, God bless the dead, was at my show. It was her birthday, January 30th. My life. I got to tell you that story. When I did Def Jam and I met Martin for the first time. Me and my boy face me and I heard him coming up. I heard Martin coming up. He said, yo, Martin, coming up. Came up and then we did it, did the show. And Mike, Martin gave me the mic. And when he gave me the mic, I patted him on the ass. <laughs> it was a great pass. We ain't dropped the mic. <clears throat> but for years, I thought Martin hated me for that. I thought he hated me for doing that. Did you know you never then met him a before? A couple of months later, he called. I took my son down to get on the bus. And when I came upstairs, my wife said, Martin just called. I said, Yeah, right, Martin ain't called. He said, call back in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, he called back. And that was my first Martin. I flew out that night with my boy Jam. Went to LA. And 
I did the Martin show. And I knew if I came off like a fat rat in the cheese factory, I could change my kid's life. We were still living in, in, on welfare, Section 8. I would get, I would go out there for a week, do the Martin show. And I was, my father and my mom separated when I was young. So I would get out there, I would tear my hotel room up because I, I didn't want to abandon my family. And Martin Lawrence told me, don't, don't think that you're abandoning them. Just keep the thought in them, knowing that you're going to change their life. And that's what motivated me. Martin was my inspiration. Eddie made me think that my dream, my dreams can be reality, but Martin was the one that inspired me. That's why they my OGs. That's why I love them. I love Martin and Eddie and Arsenio on a human level. Even if you wasn't famous, I still mess with you. I love them on a human level. I love you on a human level. On a human level, we got to get to that point. Even if he wasn't a point guard or God, I love him anyway. That's loving somebody on a human level. What are you laughing at over there? I was only laughing because he didn't know whether he was a big or a guard because <laughs> sometimes he does both. So. True. I'm That's what I see. Guard. I don't know what position he really played because he's all over the court. That energy. You say he you really, the he's the up? old dirty mm -hmm. bastard of the Knicks. <laughs> 100%. Well, he's that, the that RZA. Good. He's the old dirty bastard. He's the RZA. Yeah. He got ejected and garbled. We loved it. Wait, can we keep going down this line like other guys on the Knicks and who they are in, in hip hop? Like who's, if he's ODB and he's RZA, who's, Riz da who's Dante? Or like who's who's Precious? Who Dante is the Jizzo. Okay. What about Mitch? Precious is, Precious, okay. Old dirty bastard, RZA, Jizzo. Um, Precious? You don't want no pressure. You want no pressures? To cow. Method. Mm. Meth. I like that. No hardest scene is meth. No hardest scene. You got the Rizza, you got the Jizza. You got a uh, precious is um Love. Yeah. Who's the light skin do? From what Wu Tang. Oh, Precious is Precious is Ghost, and I'm friends mm -hmm. with all of them. Like when I first started doing comedy, me and Old Dirty Bassie used to hang out together, get drunk, ride around in the city. I was wild <laughs> when I first started because I come from the projects. I'm Tracy, <clears throat> now I'm making all this money, and that's how I became diabetic. I'm about to say, how you deal with that? I, I didn't know how to deal with the fame. You gotta know, you gotta, I didn't know how to deal with the fame. I went to a club with my brother one time and I was like, yo, I, I got the propeller out. I'm like, why everybody looking at me? He said, listen to me, you know, little brother. You could be a comedian, nobody could be looking at you. You blessed, you famous, you're on TV. Then I had to get used to it. If you watch, if you go on Vice TV and watch my autobiography, it's very accurate. My story isn't a, good, a happy one. My father died of AIDS. I dropped out of high school just to take care of him. He still got rich. I lost mine since I was 19. But he gave me knowledge of self before he left. And that's important. So with knowledge of self, nobody can ever pull a wool over my eyes. I'm 55 years old, man. I was an alcoholic. I'm still an alcoholic. Saturday in my life turned me into an alcoholic. What about it? Like I don't know if I would drink because the shows were late. Parties even later. The hottest party in town. Everybody was at the Saturday Night Live parties, man. I started drinking. Because when you're a famous funny dude, anytime you walk to a club or a bar, there's always somebody there, you come buy you a drink? Because they think that got something to do with funny. And they expect you to just be famous and funny mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, no. Got it. Then my daughter was Very born, good. and I took ownership of my life and the addiction. But I still call myself an alcoholic. Because all it takes is one drink. My father died of age young. My father was 39. I was 19. I took control when my daughter was born. So my daughter saved my life twice. Because she was 10 months old when I got hit by the truck. So I had to fight to come out of that coma. Because people just don't come out of comas. There's people in comas 30 years. man. So when my daughter was born, I put that addiction to the side. So she literally saved my life twice. Not many people could say their kids saved their life. 
Mm. I understand my daughter is my life. And her Julius is like this. Her Julius is like this. And I love Julius' son. I'm like, come to my house and see my shark tank. I got man eaters in there. I got two lemon sharks. How many gallons is it? The shark tank, I got a 20,000 gallon the size of that wall. Damn, I Paid over a million dollars for it for my daughter. Sharks. And lemon sharks are number two on the list. First there's bulls, then lemons, then tigers, then there's the great white. And I went to South Africa in 2017, and I went great white cage diving. Saw four of them. Nope. And when nope. you out there, most people don't see none. Nope. They swim right up to the cage, and they open their mouth, and the teeth this big. We saw a 17-foot adult male, a 14-foot sub-adult female, and two juveniles 10 feet. What made you want to do that? 17 feet. I just, I, was it, was I've it always been into animals. No, so that, that, was it after? My father went you know to that, Vietnam. You know, we, we black people, bro. We don't do that. I know, but I did it anyway. Okay. <laughs> I was did that, it anyway. Was that after the accident? Yeah. Was that, were you like, all right, I, I shouldn't even be. accident was 2014. Okay. Were you like. Why didn't I sold it up, settled out with Walmart? <clears throat> and when you. Uh, get money in court, taxes don't come out. You get all oh, of it. Oh, it doesn't? Really? When you're awarded money Damn. in court, taxes don't You just get it as a lump sum? You get it. Damn, where that truck at? No, mine didn't come <laughs> where that they truck gave me, at? They gave me a lot, hundreds upon hundreds. And what I, the only thing that came out of my money was the lawyer's fee. Mm -hmm. You got to scratch a piece of paper and win that. But I gave him. Mm. My friend that died... His family was awarded to men. So mm. you can only imagine. And he wasn't famous. I had to deal with FX at the time. Oh, so you're basically mm. able to be like, this is how, I, this is all the work I lost out on. I don't know what my lawyer did. I yeah. don't get into that. I just think that Walmart settled the case amicably. I thank the Lord. Damn. Amazon, you up? Y'all next. Scary. You, you just you're that, that kind I'm of money saying, is scary. Next. <laughs> you think being broke is scary? I'm dead. Having that kind of money is scary. Really? Yeah. What's scary about it? I come from the projects, dude. I don't know nothing about that. Mm -hmm. So it's scary being able to buy four Rolexes like this, or four two Rolls Royces and Lamborghini like this. Is that in a fifteen minutes? Oh. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. You know, he did that before. Huh? Yeah. Hell no. Live. Live. Hell if you no. did, live. You do this once. Win the ring. Go ahead. Do, do your thing, bro. That's, no, how, listen. that's how I feel when I do priority operates. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> that's, the why Knicks, that's why I think when I buy a first class This ticket. is the deal. <laughs> the Knicks could be in last place, and they still make the most money in the league. You want to know why? Wall Street is right down the block. I lost friends oh. in the buildings. For anybody outside of New York, that was just something they saw on TV when them buildings came down. I remember where I was. I'll never forget it. Where were you? I took my kids to school. Then I was on Fordham Road shopping, and I seen, I looked down the train station, and one of them was on fire. And the dude said, yo, the Empire State, the Empire State building. Then I seen the second player, pa. And I said, oh, then everybody went and got their kids out of school. I got picked up. I, I got picked up. Instantly. I got picked up instantly. Instantly. Yeah. When jump right in the, I was in the car. I was already made it. I was on the Saturday Night Live when it happened. I remember when Giuliani, I was in the room when Tina Fey and Lauren Michaels decided to bring the mayor on the show. Because I was like, how are we going to go up? We were supposed to go up that September. How are we going to go up? This just happened. I walked, the day happened, I walked around the streets for two days crying. Just crying. First of all, my friend died. They didn't find his, half his bicep with a tattoo. He kept putting tickets on his car for months. Died in the building. Then I remember being on Saturday Night Live when we did the September 11th, and when we said goodnights, the, the firemen and the ambulance drivers came straight from ground zero to the show. And I remember patting one of them on the back the dust from the foot came on. It was crazy being on that stage that night, man. Everybody was crying. Audience was crying. It was just incredible. It took a loss. Man. Then we turned around and built a bigger one. Sure. Yep. We, New York is very resilient. 
We fight. They don't realize it, but they are New York. We're very resilient here, and that's what we do. They don't give up. We scrappy. We fight. Look. Having look look at the games. Look at the Bulls. Does it feel like do you guys realize like as a team how much you embody New York? Does it feel that way, or you're just like we're just we're know. just playing how we play? I would say, one we don't know, but like that's how most of our makeup is. Like we have a lot of guys who, I think I said this before, but at some point in the career, been like, you're good, but like you you can't do this or you can't do that. Like we've always been doubted at to some extent. It could be like drastic. It could be something small, but like, I, I gotta mean, say this too. You find a way. I gotta say, everybody can't play here. Everybody cannot play in New York. The team we got is the team for New York. The team for that we got is the team for New York. Everybody can't play here. You think LeBron could play here? Yes. I don't. Think so. <laughs> I'm just. How come? I mean, how come? I don't think so. Well, everybody can't play in front of this crowd. Garden, it's New York. It's where Son of Sam was born. So, you're, so I just want to make this very abundantly clear. Um, you know the Ghostbusters are from here. You know the Warriors are from here. You know the Marshmallow Man walked through this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the Marshmallow Man walked through this motherfucker? <laughs> Stay uh, puff walk through here, man. It's New York, baby. I'm proud to be from <coughs> here. <coughs> Even when I lived in LA for five years, I'm proud to be here. I'm a New Yorker. We got the best pizza in the world. I ate a slice of pizza in the L.A. I said, you come through with the pizza. Yeah. I ate pizza in the L.A., I spit that shit out. What's your favorite New York pizza? I got something on 231st in, in the Bronx on Dykeman. Ray. Not Ray. His name is Steve. But I've been eating that since high school. I'm 55 now. And I had dinner at the White House three times. I'm tight with Obama and Michelle. What up, Obama? What up, Michelle? How you doing? Met Obama. I got pictures in my met, phone with them. Met Obama. Met him once. Met him one time. We need yeah. Obama on the show. He got to meet you. Uh, he got to meet him. He woke, me, he woke Listen, me up from my nap in We high got school. that Villanova crew, man. Understand that. They used to win it. They're winners. Well, one of us won one. The other one won two. Someone's a winner and like someone actually wins. <laughs> I be beefing with him. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll get one. You have one. That's all I need. <clears throat> he can really take y'all get me to give us Don't one you. in the NBA. Jalen know he the man. Yeah, he no, needs a, he needs to lock in though. Man. Triple doubles like crazy. He needs to lock in coming in with pizza, slices of pizza, bro. You gotta eat a little healthier than that, man. And you know what? Can I ask y'all a question? Can I ask y'all a question? Mm -hmm. Y'all focus now? Or y'all gonna wait? You won't lock in yet? Um no, 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 no. It's too early to lock in. No. The game no. is Saturday. Never too early. You can lock into you can lock in without mm -hmm. being like crazy. Without mm -hmm. being tunnel vision. That's how I am. That's how I am. Like when I gotta do a movie or if I gotta do a TV show, I won't I'm not gonna go there like it's too soon, like right now, mm -hmm. for me to lock in. I could lock in. I could know the script. But when I I usually don't Lucas. Yo. You ever saw me read a script? No, sir. Never? Not one. Not even skim through. Mm -hmm. I'm on a set, I'll read the stage direction. Then I can remember the first time I ever cried on film. It was first Sunday in that kitchen mm. with Loretta, Loretta Devine. And I remember when I read, I was on tour, and I was in San Francisco. I got I flew back to LA just that day. I read with Ice Cube. And then David Talbot, the director, I was gonna go back to San Francisco, finish my tour. He said, What you doing today? I said, let me just get back on play. He said, let's go to lunch. And while we were at lunch, just me and him, he started to ask me about my past, going deep, about my brother's legs, my brother being born with cerebral palsy, all kind of stuff, my mother, my father, all kind of stuff. And then we, I left. Two, weeks, two months later, we started filming. During the filming, I, every day I would ask him, yo, I'm concerned because I'm affiliated with funny. I never cried on he, I don't actually blow me off. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Two weeks. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Day came. We got to film that scene. He, early in the morning, came in my trailer. Came in my trailer and started getting in my head. Got right in my head. And when he left the trailer, I was in pieces. Then he said, roll. 
And what you see is what happened. We did it three times. Two times, I was really crying. Because in my head, you got, there's a process. You got to know how to do it. Mm -hmm. You got to know how to do it. All of us got disappointments and hurts in our lives. And I had to go back there. I remember when I was about six, my mom's had too many kids, young. So she had to give me and my grandmother. And I was just too young to be away from my siblings. And one day, I asked my grandmother, we lived on the 14th floor in the project. I said, Grandma, where my mommy live? And she took me to the back of the house and she pointed 50 miles that way. So my grandfather kept a red light bulb in the hallway. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, I was this little kid is in the window waiting for his mommy to come get him. She said, I'm gay. So in my head, that's where I was. Got to have something to draw from. Mm -hmm. Got to have something to draw from. So that's what you see, crying. And then after we did it, he said, cut. Go on the trailer, get yourself together. You got 15 minutes because we got to keep filming. Jeez. That's life, man. Damn. Look at Denzel and Glory. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you we think you can that. only imagine where he was. You mm -hmm. see me, you just talking about it. When he cries. Look at Eddie and Mr. Church. You got to have something to draw from. What inspires you? When they're on the floor, they got something to draw from. Not playing like that. They, look how they playing. Turn my lady into a, a Nick fan. My lady, Dominican. She comes to the game. We go to the game. Go to the game. She just had the flu, so she couldn't come see the Bulls. She was coming. We were going to see the Bulls. So I brought my cousin Lavelle, and he knows all the stats and stuff. My cousin, he's the biggest Nick fan and Yankee fan. And my Yankee tickets, I'm row one, seat one right behind home plate. I'm taking y'all. I got four. I use Lauren Michaels tickets. Lauren Michaels is like my daddy. He was the producer of Saturday Night Live. He's like my dad. When I got hit by that truck, he called my ex-wife 1,500 times just to see how I was doing. Then they gave me a, a big, when they did the 40th anniversary, I was in my wheelchair watching it. 40th anniversary, sad and alive. And I couldn't be there. I'm crying, watching it, just crying. Would you would you consider Saturday Night Live like your first big break? No. My first big break is when I wake up in the morning. Mm. Not Bars. no TV show. Bars. When I wake up every morning, man, I lift the curtains. Even on a cloudy day, the sun might not be up. It might not be out, but it's up. It gave me one more day. That's how I take it one day at a time. Is that slow it down? Take it one day at a time, man. Is that a perspective? Life is like a business. God will give you the business, but he ain't gonna run it. You gotta run it. Life gives you chances and choices, man. Put more value on your choices, because that could determine the outcome of your life. Do you see all them dudes doing 25 to life in jail? Those are the choices they made. Live with it. Look at your choices. You know why? We make great choices. Look at us sitting here. These are the choices we make it. When I saw Josh that day, I chose to go ask him to be on his show. He ain't come to me. I came to him. I said, yeah, I'm going to do the podcast. He said, word? Now I'm here. So. I'm here. Big Perk calls him Big Body Brunson. <laughs> Big Body. Broadway Brunson. Him, he's on a level right now. He may not know it, but he's on a level right now of Joe Namath. No. No, my butt. No. You win that ring? Joe Namath. He no. made a prediction. Ring, bro. I'll be and Broadway Joe made a prediction. <clears throat> yeah, man. Who was Broadway? Think about that. Broadway Joe left. You got to understand where you play at, Josh. Me. You know where you're playing at? You may not think about it, but you're playing at the very place Ali fought Joe Frazier. That don't cross your mind. It don't. Mm -mm. It really don't. No, but you got to think about it. All of that is going on right there. Yeah. Ali fought Joe Frazier. There. That's why it's the greatest place in the world. Greatest place. Without in the help. world. Yeah, Our fans, we love y'all. You don't know it. Win, lose, or draw. We down. I would, I would say, like, no matter what's going on there, it could be concert, a game. It could be a chess garden. match. The garden is the best place to do anything. The garden. 
Can I ask y'all a question? Mm. Do y'all feel it when it's on fire? Absolutely. Do y'all get amped? Yeah. Absolutely. It's yes. Crazy. Yes. That was, that's like the one spot, like, and, and he can talk about it too. Like, I was on the West Coast, like, my whole career until I got to to uh, to here. So we only can't, like yeah, we only get here once. Every it's like, team in the league gets up to play New mm-hmm. York. Get that, especially you did one time Everybody a year. Everybody bringing their game. Don't Come matter. on. This year, AD and LeBron set out. You came to play this game because you in the city. They set out. Where, where they set out? Hmm? Remember where they set out? They set out. I'm saying you remember where? No. They set out like two games. I knew it was they, before, right before. I, f- I think they did it the year before too where they played. It was like Brooklyn, New York. And they always set out that first game. and Because you know why? Mm-hmm. Like, game. But I don't in think, New I don't think that was, York. I, Let I me tell you something, year. Josh. Who made this song? Start spreading the news. That Frank was Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah. let's say we didn't get that. Be- Frank Sinatra. New York is so dope, they named it twice. New York, New York. We have, we have Y'all played for the Knicks. Twice Y'all better not never leave us, man. Josh was actually talking about leaving. No, he ain't. You lying. I don't believe him, He's bro. lying. Why not say that? Well, that's why you're lying. smiling. Why that's that, why bro. you're smiling. You, just, you never said anything. Well, when I said, when on, I, said I was the backup half four, is that what? <laughs> when, you what scre- when you came screaming to the bench, you was mad? Because <laughs> Aaron Gordon was bullying you? I ain't, <laughs> I I ain't, say, I ain't say that, bro. Now you're on the floor 46 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, that's going to get clipped. You that's know your man, D, Dante played 50-some minutes the other day? 52 and you know, 53 in game 52. Game 82? 82, yeah. Okay. I was thinking something else. Wait, so oh, this. You know, this. he's not eligible, so I know for awards, like post Yeah, we should post, talk about that. We should talk about that. Post-season awards? He can't get most improved. Why? Because of, there's some new rule, the rule new in the CBA. Rule. About, so yeah, they're giving didn't. it to this guard from Chicago? Nah, the one in the hair? Nah, yeah, Maxi. Yeah. Max. Most Max likely, will I think get Maxi it. will get it. But JJ, he, he Tyree said Max, he, Tyree's going to get it. I mean, that's deserving. JJ said he had Dante as third in his in his wait, voting. Why, wait, why can't he get it? Because you have, so it's like the sixty five games, but they have it. It's like certain games where you have to hit a certain amount of minutes. Wow. So, like for example, Jonas Valanciunas, if say he was like in a running for any award, he could have. He played all eighty, started all eighty two, yeah. but like some games he played like eighteen minutes or seventeen minutes. So he didn't hit the minute What's threshold the of that like, game. Is it 19? No. 19 or 20 or whatever yeah. it is for the, the game league, to count. Man. So they're like you could be headed there going, concentrating going what it means to yeah. play like a look game. At, look at RJ. Crazy. Look at Quigley. Here today, going today. This is the business. This is a business. Sometimes people forget this is a business. It's a business. Yeah. That is it's tough. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people are upset about that. I said, you can't fall in love with players, man. He's owners, man. He, he own teams, man. So shifting gears real quick, uh, this clip appeared yesterday, but I don't think Josh and Jalen have heard. Can you talk about the Adidas pool story from your childhood? Huh? The Adidas pool story from your childhood? Oh, are you talking about the pool? Yeah. You talking about when I shit it in the pool? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's wait. me. Wait. Can we talk about that? Sure, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I could curse. For sure. Yeah, go ahead. I'm oh, fuck. I'm holding back like I'm a Jehovah Witness or something. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I shit in the pool. <laughs> Motherfucker stole my sneakers. So, yeah, so give As us a that. brand new white on What's blue, the blue and breakdown? whites. Had some blue and white pumas. Motherfucker broke in my locker right on Marcy and Gates. They broke in my locker and stole my sneakers. I was only like 10 years old, walking home with a fucking size 13 sneaker because I had to get somebody else's sneakers. And they went, I went back, I went home. I had a good meal that night. Good meal. What'd you Shut eat? down. The next day, I went back like I was revenging my brother's death. I swam right to the deep part. <laughs> Shit, right there. It was corn and collard greens all in the water. The Puerto Rican girl was swimming under the water, and one of my doodles hit her in the head. <laughs> Shit in the pool. And they had to shut the pool down that summer because of bacteria. <laughs> Fuck that. So now every time I see water, I get triggered. I was playing in the fire hydrant. I was shit in the middle of the street. <laughs> Bus B-54 ran over my doodle. <laughs> Fuck that. My, my neighbors bought a slip and slide. I shit it on that for no apparent reason. All because of some dude stealing I mean, your shit. That motherfucker stole my sneakers. Fuck. Bad dude. 
I was that dude in the projects that would write on the elevator wall. I would draw a dick and ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I feel like Sean Mick was here, but now he's gone. I he left like his big ass like dick that. to carry on. <laughs> I feel like you do Fuck some shit that. like that. No, Play with uh, trick, baby. I grew up on government cheese, man. <laughs> I'm the real deal, baby. Me. Oh. Trade bag. I always yeah. been a fucked up dude. Cam, I'm glad you pulled that clip. Or I'm glad you pulled that story. He know. He knew. I'm going home tonight. <laughs> I'm going home tonight. My lady's ovulating. I'm going home to make babies tonight. I don't pull out. Yeah, old school. <laughs> old school. I'm not coming. I come in. Yes, sir. Like Wait, jail. Did, did we determine how many you have off the books or on the books? I, did we get an answer? I forget. I'm at 30, 40. All right. Told you I'm trying to break Gundy's record. <laughs> I make You're babies, and, well. <laughs> and I'm a good dad. I will come back every ten years. So why does Why does <laughs> Nick? This is say I'm your daddy, goddamn. <laughs> why does Nick Cannon get all the credit then? And they're not, they don't talk about Tracy Morgan. I don't know Nick Cannon get all the credit. I get down for my crown. <laughs> I get down for my crown. I give him a good five minutes. That's all, that's all you need. <laughs> all you need. I give a couple good positions. Five everything good. moving. Five minutes. Everything moving. He's dying over here. <laughs> Rock, he can relate. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my thing. Jalen's recovering off set. Yo, my story, dog. I get, I get him that, man. I'm, I tell you, I'm funny in real life. For sure. Oh, I don't man. fuck around. I haven't cried on a podcast yet. But I've got tears for sure. Oh, there. <clears throat> Yo, I'm serious, man. Crazy part, we know. <laughs> I came up on welfare. I came oh, up on no, welfare. No. Okay. Find y'all find an auditorium. I, 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 I could do an hour. I got a tour. I'm, a, I'm on tour. I, I just came back from North Carolina two days ago. Gave them four shows you out know, there. You know what we were thinking? We were talking about this. We actually saw um, the Kelsey brothers did a show at what? At Cincinnati? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where they did. Um, we did their podcast, so like if we did something where you go back to Nova, that'd be dope. Do Yo, you know like a lot of dope. comedians are polished. They polish the little smart jokes and shit. You know where I'm taking you? You know where I just took y'all? Hmm. I just put y'all in the living room. Yeah, you, you made them leave set. I'm talking about shit that everybody can identify and relate with. I'm saying the shit you think about, scared you won't say. I'm putting you in the living room. When you watch Archie Bunker, where did it take place? In the living room. When you watch Good Times, where did it take place? In the living room. When you watch San the Sun, where did it take place? In the living room. I'm putting you in the living room. Fuck all that smart shit. I don't got a GED. I'm on some billionaire. I don't got a GED. Don't take nothing to make no money in America. He's talking. He's talking right now. Don't take nothing to make money in America. Got, all you gotta got to do is have, you want a billion dollars? All you got to do is have a billion dollar idea. Mm. All this shit is about ideas, man. All of it. Is about, we were an idea in God's mind. The earth was an idea. All this shit is about ideas. That's what I do. Think about some ideas, man. Come up with some ideas. Let's start a business. Can I just go to the highway? Money. <laughs> hey, go to the highway? That's your idea? This right here? The highway. All these cameras and all this was an idea. Mm. I don't know who the ideas was, but it's going to be a bigger one. It ain't going to do nothing but grow. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to do nothing but grow. A man in my position right now, I'm divorced. I'm single. I'm dating. I'm looking for a woman because I'm great at it, being a husband, being a provider. I'm good at that. I'm not good at being out here by myself, especially with this kind of money. I gotta be the, I'm looking for a woman that if all this go away, the plane, the house, the cars, if it all go away, She's going to be standing right there. Because she's not down with Tracy Morgan. She riding with Trey. Mm -hmm. That's really hard to find because it's two Greek words. It's, uh, uh, agape. It's agape and erosa. Erosa is just a fuck. Sometimes a baby come out of that. It's like a train wreck. And the baby is the body being pulled out of the wreck. Then there's agape. When you see 290-year-old people... Holding hands, loving unconditionally. Everybody want it, but it's very rare, and everybody don't get it. Agape. Usually when one dies, a year later the other dies, because mm. they can't live without each other. 
That's what I want. That's what I pray for. Mm. I'm tired of being alone. I go to that mansion every day and I sleep in it by myself. I turn all the lights on, turn my house on, turn my perimeter alarm on, and I go to sleep. When I watch the game, me and my lady will watch the game. I don't go to every game. I can't. I want to. I can live there. But Wild West told me during the Bulls game, yo, when we go on the road, we might bring you with us. What I'm going to do is keep them comfortable, keep them loose, crack a joke here and there, let everybody crack up on the plane or whatever. Keep everybody loose. Go play, bust their ass. I tell Josh that all the time. Bust their ass. Bust their ass. It's one thing to win, but it's another thing to bust. He busting their ass. 40 points a game, all these games, busting their ass. Just beat Patrick out. He's right behind Bernard King. And Bernard King is where I'm from. He's from Fort Greene. Taj is from Fort Greene. So that's, that's family. I know Bernard King a long time. I'm from Tonkers, right up the block. Same street. Right up the bottom. Bernard King. They comparing him to Michael. Michael who? Jordan. Ooh. Stop it. They comparing okay. him to Michael Jordan. No. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. I've just you seen know, y'all the same. Besides out. you being yeah. less up. You know that joint? That was on couple that, feet on shorter. The right. they couple shades him. lighter. A little bit more hair. And I just saw Michael a month ago in Disney World. And I talked to him. Because Michael know me. He used to fight me years ago. Out to the Bahamas for his golf tournament. Him, Charles, I'm good with Charles. Good with Magic. Met Kobe. I just showed you a picture of me and Kobe. I was at Kobe's last game at the Garden. They got a picture of us hugging. Then I hosted the ESPYs years ago. And the last thing I said to uh, Kobe is, I love you. He said, I was crying because they had a guy on there that was a coach of a team. They have no arms and no legs. So I thought... My accident was bad until I met him. And I was in my dressing room crying, and Kobe came in my dressing room. And we was talking. And I started crying. Kobe said, I love you, Trey. I said, I love you, Kobe. Uh, then he died. Then that happened. So my life, I look at my life. I'm sitting there with Josh Hart and Jalen. This is a part of my legacy. My kids are going to see this. Of course I'm excited. Why would not be? You got to be a fucking prick. <laughs> Not to be excited about this. <laughs> These dudes don't know that. How the fuck would they know? I'm excited. Me and my cousin are excited. We used to talk about this shit all day. My cousin came to the crib. I'm going to just say up. this. Hearing all the names you just said about people you're t- like, who you talk to, hang out with, and, all, and everything, and then hearing you say something like, oh, I'm sitting with Josh and Jalen, and you're excited, like, I don't know. That, that, damn. You going to cry? I'm not going to cry, bro. Don't do that to me. Man, this is what's going to happen. I could tell you what's going to happen. I'm just saying. I could tell you what's going to happen. It's cool. One, two is going to co-host Saturday Night Live. Them too? These two are going to. And then they're going to make them do all kind of funny characters. You want to talk about scare? Boy, I'll be nervous You should, right now, Lauren Michaels, you should have Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson host Saturday Night Live. Can you make it happen? Yeah, I can make it happen. Oh, Lucas, man. make a phone call tomorrow. <laughs> did you did you see his uh, poetry? <laughs> did you see Jalen on uh, Fallon? <laughs> oh, I see him. His poetry poetry slam. I put Fallon on. Hey now, that's Jimmy. When he, when I was on Saturday Night Live, he was standing outside waiting to go to the party, and he wasn't even on the show. He was just a guy standing outside. He said, "Yo, can I go to the party with you?" I said, "Yo, you and your father get my limousine." Went to the party next year. He's a cast member. That's cool. I was there before him and Tina Fey. Were you nervous for Fallon? But what? Yeah, he was nervous, of course. What? He was excited. So, oh, oh, I think he was excited. excited. I, but I was, it. I was good. I was good until like, you know, like the all right, we're about to get you on stage. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. And you're waiting there. You're waiting there. Like, all right, thirty seconds. He said thirty seconds. My, my <laughs> heart was once like, you out racing. there, once you out there, it's good though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy though. You can be in the highest once you pressure out there, basketball environment. You get very right? hyped. and then you go there. And, Those are just nerves. But once <laughs> yeah. you out there, you get hyped. Imagine how it just made y'all laugh. Imagine me doing that to the audience. And out there is 20 million people. This yeah. is just 500 right here. Right. Out there is 20 million. Crazy. Imagine that. I became Tracy Morgan. But yeah, there are, deep, know, there are deeper, more, more important things than that. Your family. There are more important things than that. Mm-hmm. You got to realize that. It can't just be all about you. Be a narcissist if it's all about you.
right? Well, nah, I got to take care of my family too, man. Dude. You don't realize how I feel sitting there in Celebrity Row. Like, those are my friends. Those are my friends doing that. That's how I feel. That's dope. Like, it's not just in the garden. Like, me and him on each other at Rutgers. He's in Rutgers. Before, before we do that, yeah, I'll never forget the first time I met Tracy before the game. Like, I forget, he had one of, the, one of them rings on, right? Mm -hmm. So he's like, yo, Jay, Jay, what's up? He goes to shake my hand. This man smacks the shit out of my hand. Oh, and one sorry. of his rings, like, hit, like, on my knuckles. I'm like, ah, yo, what's up? And my shit was ringing. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. Game. I just want to let you know that. That's all. And then I'm seeing, sorry, like, man. Look at that. Look this is hard. a Cartier. Well, this, man. this is Cartier. This is about maybe 90. Damn. Shit. But Joe. My bad. Crack? <clears throat> Joe, Joe pulled yeah, up Joe, with Joe, crazy Joe, Joe, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe is butter. You could yeah. hear Joe's uh, chain like, rubbing against the mic. Me and Joe go back before fame. Me and Joe's from the Bronx. We both scalped tickets at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, I think he actually Listen, mentioned yeah, that. that. He, he, said, he said that. I grew up in the Bronx, so my whole childhood was scalping tickets, selling souvenirs, and selling <laughs> And not in that order. Because when the Boston fans came, they love that booger sugar. I'm <laughs> telling you, they love that booger sugar. They love that book of sugar. I'll tell you, they be talking to you, they all. <laughs> <laughs> all <laughs> do that. <laughs> and they drip, you know? Yeah. They sneeze and the book will come out. <laughs> Membranes and all kind of shit in it. <laughs> it's because she does that. Yeah, she, she doesn't. She in her own world. Facts. Oh, she know how to cook, though. She probably Who, cook her? Cook. Yeah, she, cook. she don't yeah, cook yeah, nothing. She threw it out. She threw it out. She put on what? Up. I, don't I know. came in this house. And the cook was must have been cooking something because yeah, that was. I said you ain't cooking. You put your foot in it. <laughs> that wasn't her though. Chef, yeah, definitely was her. That's Chef Tasha. That, ain't, that wasn't Shannon. That's, That's not Shannon. Chef. I, I, Shannon can cook. Mm hmm. That's why I love. If it. you could cook, if you're a woman and you could cook, that's not all you do. I would never say that about women. That's all they should do is cook. But if you could cook, I'm coming home. I once left a woman because she fucked up the cream of wheat. <laughs> how you fuck up cream of wheat? I said, bitch, how you fuck this up? The back of the box say just add water. How the fuck you fuck this up? And why do it smell like that? She fucked that cream of wheat up and it was over. Done. She what cooked my macaroni out of a box. You know, one time I was living in LA and I got so fucking drunk. Me and my writer got so drunk. Me, Martin, and my writer got so drunk. And I had to poop. I had to poop bad. And was there a I got to the house. Was there a I got to the house. I shit it in the kitty litter. <laughs> <laughs> My ex-wife jumped up. She ran to the bathroom. She said, who the fuck shit in the kitty litter? And I lied on the cat. I said, Snowball did it. <laughs> she said, cats don't eat corn. <laughs> I got to stop this shit. Yo, let's just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> the roommates awards. The fella... <laughs> Fellas, pick an MVP after reviewing the four finalists in each category. Right. Active players only. All right, let's let's see what we got. All right, what do we got? First team all fits. All right, so Tyrese has the um, the blade jacket on mm. and um, trench coat. Trench coat. He the second picture is what? I I I, I don't know. Like a summer piggy blinders. I guess. <laughs> And then the third one, he has what is that? Swim floaties on his, on his uh, arms. And then is that a kilt that he's wearing on the fourth one? I think so. I think that's a kilt with some with some the, type of sun goggles. Yeah, some rocket power goggles on. Would you Would you wear any of this, Trace? The first one, the blade jacket. I first like one, that. You like first that one? one. Okay, all right. I'm all not right. wearing a floaty. <laughs> <laughs> Precious, Precious throwing it on. Yeah, okay. Precious, Precious throwing it on. Precious got oh, some he fits. Was flying at, at, yeah. at the green pants. The green yeah. pants. Yeah, Pertus. He tries. He got a little style to him. Yeah. yeah. Precious got a little style. Ain't, Pertus. It's like Mike Bigger. Yeah, Pertus just wore them, he, wore, he just wore them pants like three day, three games ago. Facts. He did it. Facts. Yeah, he got some. He got some good fits. He's trying he's to do his thing. Precious, Precious from the Bronx, right? Jamaica. He's from the Bronx. Oh, he's from. He might play on my Rockets team. I think he's from the Bronx. Yeah. Bowl, bowl, bowl. Um. Uh, uh, it's my balsam, right? Yes. Yeah. The suit, the, is, it, is he wearing forces? All fight forces? Yeah, all fight forces. Okay. 
Mm. Um, nah, I'm not a fan of these. I'm just these so, guys. They, they got their style, but I'm from Brooklyn. I'm good. With clothes. Bro, he's also seven five. That's true. He can only he, he only, only fit certain stuff. Don't look at me like that. SGA, little bit out I there, but I don't mind. Them. Just, it's, it's, I don't it's, mind it's a not, couple of them though. It's, yeah, I don't. Is that the? Nah, I ain't gonna. The he last one, right here last one black. is fly. Is the yeah. best. Thing. Yeah, yeah, the last one. He dressed up though, but the black one is the black one. I like it. Yeah, the one on the, the right is that the, the Met? The the Met Gala? Yeah, that's probably Met Gala. Fly. Big money goes Met Gala. Are we picking one out of the four? First honorable oh, Messi. Oh, yeah, wow. crazy. I'm ready, coach. Wow. Yes, sir. Ready, the full I'm Nick ready. fit. Look, look. I'm the best timeout caller in the league. <laughs> Nobody call timeouts like me, man. I'm ready. You know I'm taped up, right? Ready to go. Know, I get, when I come to the game, I get taped up. Ready to go. I get taped up, kid. <laughs> I'm the best time I call in the day. <laughs> Nobody call time. I was like, Trey Bag. Tracy's fit. We got a, we got a sideline fit. Now we got the um, got New Knicks shirt, shorts. I got to go up against Spike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. got the f you need the puffer. The you need fitted? the puffer vest. Nah, well, I might do that. Yeah, I might get Jay Hart one. Yeah. I got the I got the I got the Jalen Brunson Villanova jersey at the crib. Ooh. I'm waiting for that. Waiting for that moment to wear that one. Play, okay. Ooh. And I might get the Josh Hart. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I could do that because I got the spot at the Dream Mall in Jersey that got all of that. Next mm. to, next to the Lemon Sharks. You What's know the, You know it? No. Nah. You know the Dream Mall in New Jersey? Mm -mm. I know the owner, one of the biggest malls in the world. Big like the one in Minnesota. Oh, is it the one by uh, by Meadowlands? Yeah, yeah. Right With the, like the water slides or whatever. Yeah, you know he came to the box. Yeah. I never I, came to the box. I never been to them all. I was probably no, Josh came to my box. Hey, what up, John? <laughs> came to the box. We should tell him. Good love. All right, who's everyone's MVP? <laughs> if you had to choose one of those four, who? <clears throat> would you choose? Uh, uh, Tyrese. Uh, Shaq. I think I'm gonna go. Because that's the one I'm going with. That's the one I'm going with. The, the shaft, uh, shaft jacket. Oh, uh, Tyrese? Ty? Right there. Okay, we'll go Ty. Okay. I'm in between. I think a chew is fly. You I'm, fly dude. I'm, with, I'm, I'm going with Precious. You're going Precious? That's I'm going Precious. Yeah, look at I just, yeah I, I might have to rock he with Precious. With the, he got the fits. I, I ain't no Precious. Right he had here. fits like this. He, he, like, it, it, also, he kind of went back fit, in time. But mm -hmm. also, it's like. Mm -hmm. The picture too, like he yeah. likes, got a little, a little swag with it. Yeah. Tell him don't, don't get no girl from Instagram, man. Pertusi, I'll tell him tomorrow. Don't <laughs> do that, cause them girls. Be, oh God. Per per <laughs> well, who, who's your pick? I got, I got, I got. I could chew it. Yeah. Give you a baby. I'll be this. basic. I'm going Shay. Yeah. I'm basic. <laughs> who you thinking? Shay. Shay, you a you a basic thought. I know. Wow. I'll take more risks all as them, we go on. All of them got the same factory setting. Wildest moments of the regular season. Draymond Green. Oh, oh my God. Rudy. Draymond put Rudy, Rudy in a in a, in oh, a in the headlock. Oh, that's up there. That's one. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> you can do a whole wildest moments of just just Draymond. <clears throat> With number two. Ooh. Oh, the jersey my. swap. One for the decade. The Anthony Black Grady Dick jersey swap. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. They <laughs> should. They said he should have swapped with uh, Nasir Little. <laughs> <laughs> They I should, didn't say he, it. They said it. He should have jersey swapped with Precious. A chew. A chew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Nah. Jimmy, I forgot about this. Jimmy's me today. The only oh, thing is he does this like every a, year, though. Yeah. If, yeah I feel like thing. a minute ago. Jimmy Jimmy Butler's media day email. Well, those like, actually, I want to know if those are actual. Did he actually like get his... That, like the eyebrow know. piercing? or no. his, like my waves uh, to the side. No way, I'm right? my Farrakhan's. <laughs> you got to do Number 25 four. years in jail to get these, man. I would say first team MVP. All while in MVP. All while MVP. I would say, um, oh my God, who's the second one? Oh, the jersey swap. Mm. For sure. Jersey swap for sure. <laughs> you think? You think? The dude got fired. The social he did. media manager. Social media dude got fired. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> this is but, going but we yeah. see. One of them got fired? The, apparently, apparently, the Orlando, literally the next day, it was like a screenshot of Orlando Magic putting up a, on a Indeed. position on a whatever, Indeed. whatever side it was. It yeah. was like basically looking for a graduate assistant social media intern or something like that. Yeah. 
Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, you got fired. Oh, that's tough. You got fired. I'm going. I'm. 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 I'm either. I'm either Draymond's. <laughs> Draymond choking out Rudy, or. Uh, I might have to do the Draymond choking out Rudy, bro. That might be my. Like, look at. I'm going. Draymond, <laughs> look at the bro. face of determination on, <laughs> on Draymond, bro. He like yo this. And the funniest thing, whoever whoever arm, whoever hands grabbing uh, Draymond's arm, <laughs> trying to put, like, bro, I gotta go. That's my first team all wild and Draymond. Dog. Did y'all think he was going wild out against y'all when y'all played him? Nah, 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 nah. Draymond's a good dude. Mm -hmm. like, it's just he gets he's competitive. Yeah, so I, I don't. Certain things click in certain people. Like he kicks yeah. people. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Surprise, that's not up there. Yeah, he, yeah. I got be mine. I think I'm going Draymond also. You got who you got, Tracy? I think I'm gonna go with Draymond. I'm just that was crazy. Yeah, you know, that, that, they had that on uh, TV. Or, wow. <laughs> Dunk of the year, yeah. Anthony Edwards. Mm. So we got Ja. This is from Memphis. Right? Hey, hey. I mean, oh, only strong. cause it's on Wemby. Only cause it's on Wemby. That's homeboy that was pulling out the guns. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's him. Yeah, Allegedly. <laughs> you say, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's Allegedly. Him. A couple of while ago, though. He got hurt. But the, the, the move into the, yeah, the dunk move, was kind of yeah, crazy. The... Like, to do that in the lane. Yeah. But also, Wemby didn't jump. No, Wemby exactly. didn't jump. He didn't still jump. blocked it. Oh, oh this yeah. one was tough. I don't think I've seen this one. Brandon Miller's long cross on Garrison Matthew, then booming on... The whole who team. Did, who did he boom on? Oh, my oh, God. Fern Bruno Fernando? Fernando or Fernandez? Or? up. He was up. That was tough. All right. Not gonna lie, he played a lot better than I thought he would this year. We got Bron. He played really well. Miller, yeah. Yeah. He played really well. Bron, this the one on PG. We were like the half charge. Coast to coast. Oh. oh. Yeah, that was tough. He took off. I mean, I can't I can't say anything. Like, I can't do that. So no. it, was, it looks nice. Hey. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of when he dunked on you. He didn't dunk on me. So. And like, the, 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 <laughs> no, I'm not even trying to be funny. There's a picture. Can can pull the picture? There's a picture of a Josh, and it looks like LeBron just dragging his um, I don't know what the stuff across his face. Look at it real quick. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. Can you zoom in? I can't really. Yeah, Trey, you see that? It looks crazy, right? Violated him. Oh my god. But <laughs> <laughs> That's not Josh right there. That's but Josh. What's his last name? Hart. Number three. That's me. You just don't see the braids. Are you serious? Yeah. But look LeBron at but pull up, him. Uh, but pull up the video now. No, don't put the video. Pull up nah, the, you good, you good. Pull up, nah, pull up the actual dunk. Just the video. Just the picture. Nah, pull up the dunk. The picture looks wild. The picture looks wild. But the, it's and just he the tagged, picture. And he tagged. Didn't he tag you in his post? No. And he didn't even touch me. Great it's technically a poster. It's not a... You can put it on a poster, exactly. but the dunk wasn't a poster. All right, we got Ant. Be mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> this is this is this, this is, no, is it. This is it. There's no question. That's yeah, the winner. Oh yeah. my no god. Question. That's the winner. That was, uh, he mur he did, he killed yeah, a man. That's a dunk of the year. We got our MVP. And he gave him a concussion. Look at that. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he he went out the game with a concussion. Concussion like symptoms. Yep, he did. Bro, MVP. he got. He, I remember that when that happened. Yeah. Oh my God! Bro. He flushed it. Looked like me back in the day. Yeah, wait, bro. wait. Loophole? Is that a dunk? Didn't he? Didn't he throw a dunk? In? Come on, bro. Come on, Matt. I'm just saying. Come on, Matt. Nobody got feet work like him. Like Jalen? In the league, nah, he's craftsman. They say he's Michael Jordan crafty, footwork. Very crafty. No, no they don't. They comparing it to him on on the internet. <laughs> Can't believe anything's on the internet. All right, this is a section we do, Tracy, called Picture Me Scrolling, where we react to tweets and funny moments of the week. Oh, to this <laughs> this is by far the funniest thing I've yeah. seen in a long time. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Was he really there? <laughs> no. No, he it's AI. No, it's no, AI. Yeah. That fell out when he so was doing it's this. It's a little Yai. He don't move like that. <laughs> nah, so this move, <laughs> this is a uh, <laughs> little Yachty coming out to a, a concert. Back. I'll say though, this is the illest when he came out. The song called "Coffin." <laughs> that's Ill, a, that's the illest, illest entrance and, I've ever yeah, seen of any concert, any festival. But yeah, it was dope for people that. Did Mitch post this? Nah, no. Mitch showed it to Tibbs. What did Tibbs say? Tibbs, Tibbs was like, Tibbs "You did, you made it. made it." 
Yeah, he's convinced. But for the people that can't see it, it's uh it's a AI of Tibbs coming out on onto like a concert, um, going crazy, dance move, footwork. Um that's all time. That's all time one. Oh, oh yeah, the braids. Strickland. Josh are bringing the NY braids back. Yeah, NY braids are coming back. And lot, this is a lot of dedication on Josh's part because there's only one braider that Josh knows who could do this, and he's flying her to New Cassandra. York. Sandra. Yeah, I'm flying her to New York from Houston. Well, this will come out Thursday. Yeah, this will come Fly, out Thursday. Flying her out. Yeah, flying out Sa Sandra braids. Do you hear? Um, yeah. She uh, just playoffs. Yeah, she like I obviously like I I got a couple of braids here that I, that I love, but Sandra was like my like the she's like my goat in terms of like braiding hair. She did my one of the New York with the with the uh, apple around two it. Two hours. Yeah, it'd probably take her like two hours, but like she's gonna do like just a just a you clean NY. Hair? So she's she's coming here on Friday. She she lives in Houston. She's flying here, braiding me, flying back. Saturday. So much, yeah. So much Saturday. much love to her. Saturday. Yep. Got got to be ready. Got to have the NY uh, for playoff time. Oh my, me and my daughter. That's <laughs> so dope. With the red boots. The red yeah. boots. Mm hmm. That's my stink butt. <laughs> when I got here by the truck, she was only ten months old. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, for, for I, the just, I just bought a puppy like two days ago. What kind? A Datsun. Mm. A little hot dog. <laughs> so I got it in my office and I got to feed him when I get back. That's dope. For the, for the y'all that, uh, that the my, audio she, listeners. She uh, love the Knicks, man. She do? Yeah. Legion of Hoops says, Tom Thibodeau and Jalen Brunson being focused. He doesn't have face gram, whatever you call it. Hey, I don't have face gram. You don't got I don't face think gram? anyone in the world has face gram. Nah, this not, this for sure is something called face gram, bro. Someone's gonna make it now. Yeah, for sure. Someone's gonna make it. I, yeah. Shout out to Tibbs, though. He probably has face gram. Probably. You have face gram? Yeah. What's that? Nothing. You gotta mm -hmm. understand, I don't got a GED. <laughs> I don't even know how to turn the computer off. If it start making noise, I just pull the plug out. <laughs> <laughs> I just pull the plug out, man. I'm serious. I dropped out in the 12th grade with four credits to go because my pops was down to AIDS. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, it's just me being me most of the time. So we got a we got a Tom Thibodeau jersey spotted at a wow. next game. Yeah. Crazy, I got to right? get one. Crazy. The number 40 is out. That's, you know that's, that's, that's nasty Friday, work, Saturday, though. Saturday, right? What you want Friday? The Villanova. Mm -hmm. The Brunson Villanova. Go over that. That'd be dope. It. Then I'm going to rock yours. Then I got to rock... um. McBride, McBride, my dude, man. He's playing well. He's playing really well. So, playing yeah. hard. They, they need to start selling them in stores. Thibodeau jersey. They can't do number forty. Though. Jersey Forty's nasty 40 work. Forty's a nasty number. Yeah, it's nasty work. Give them number three. No. All right, we got some fan questions. Let's get into it. Be more like state. When you coming back to Dykeman? Oh, uh, we was there. We were there. Yeah, we was there. We was in Rutgers. We was in Dykeman. Over there the summer. It was it was not the last summer, but last first summer here. Yeah, I brought my daughter with me, and Jalen was there. Yeah, That's dope, man. When y'all going back? When, whenever you coming with? Oh, whatever. Oh, uh, we gotta we gotta ask about the K, the. I sent my KG. limo out here to get story. you. I sent my limo out here. Didn't he say he was there? My room, right? so I oh, yeah, we up. Yeah, let's do it, hey, Josh. Yeah, Josh. And let's go get some food. Twenties. I got a restaurant. Twenties. We gotta hit that up. I think we should go in the business and open up something. What's up? I'm with it, man. I don't want show business acting to be my only income. I'm trying to get into something. I go back and forth to Italy for the Ferrari. I'm tight with the Ferrari family. We're looking for a like eight Ferraris. Man. We're looking for a co-host on the show. Yeah. 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 I'm getting kicked out. Yeah, man, if I if I come on the show with y'all, I'm dope. I'm we, with we, it. Just gotta, we gotta kick him out. I'm out. No, you ain't out. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't out. I can't do that. Brunson fan, what's the best Knicks game? A game he has been to. What's the best Knicks game you've been to? Me? Yep. I mean, this team or ever? Ever. Ever. My grandma. 99. I was there. Easy. I was there. I mean, they went crazy. I was three, though. I don't really remember what was going on. Yeah, you weren't really there. It was not really there. That was epic. It was that I Heart You 5-5? Five five. Do you see uh do you see you versus Spike? A rivalry for the biggest Knicks fan? 
No. Is that a rivalry? No. Who's the biggest one? Is it Spike. Spike's the biggest Knicks fan? Yeah. That's very Spike. humble. That's I'm, humble. I'm, I'm, I'm a baby. Spike has been there. Mm-hmm. Spike has got kicked out of game text and all of that. <laughs> you you got you to gotta be bad for you to be a fan and get a tech. <laughs> and he's the reason why Reggie Miller. You don't remember that? Yeah. When Reggie did this to him. Mm-hmm. He had a thing with his with the players. Mm-hmm. That's, That's true. true. That he's, they come he's, over he's got with the papers at the garden. They come over with stat papers to give him a spike. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, you're a big fan when you go to away games and you there, front row. Yeah. And that's mm. what y'all see him. I remember Not that bad. Cleveland series. He was Cleveland like series. He was there. Yeah. 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 It's it was something there. for Wild West to walk across the court. Tell me, yo, we're going to bring you on some road games. That's what's up. For sure. Love. That's yeah. what... Didn't he say that to me? Yeah, on Sunday. What's the Mike Rappel, Rappel, excuse me if I messed that up. Uh, what's the one car that you don't have that you want the most? The one I want the most is. Uh, 39 million, 39 million, it's the boat, Bulls Royce that Jay-Z, is only two. Oh, like the, the, ta- the tail wing one. or tail boat, well, whatever it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Pharrell got one and Jay-Z got one. I want one of those. Damn. I would never drive it. Like, I have a $4 million La Ferrari in my garage. Right now, it's at the car show. Can I borrow it? <laughs> I don't even drive it. But <laughs> you can borrow that. Jay, Just yeah. one, one, one game. whatever you want. One game. Whatever you want. Yeah, Whatever is black. It's all black. The Perfect. only one in the world. All Perfect. black with a black key. La Ferrari. Paid wow. $4 million for it. Because the owner was a collector and they had 45 Ferraris and he died. So the reason why the re- I got it, it was only 750 miles on it. Damn. Not bad. Banging. How, how many is on it now? A thousand. I went to Washington Heights. <laughs> a thousand. Before, before, that's it? Check out before like Phoenix, a big, <laughs> before like a big, a big playoff game, chicks? you oh got to meet God. up. People see that car in the street and they go like this. You looking yeah. at it? Yeah, boy. That's that it. You see? Stupid. That's it. The tie is on the side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's crazy. The letters on the side. Before like a big playoff game, you, you then got to meet up a couple blocks away from the garden. Just pull out real quick. I the drop top Lamborghini with music in it. Sport me. Professional music, so I'm beating up the streets. We we gonna pull up to a Burgundy. game together, huh? all three of us. Yeah, pull up to a game. What's up? I bring it to the game. Bro. You got to see my SF90, the yellow. It's a one off. Ferrari gave it to me. Really? Yeah, the Ferrari gave me one too. SF90. What's uh? And huh? what's your car collection worth? You got to guess. Lucas. Yo. All the cars. How much you think it's worth? Oh man. That's a Maybe hard. twenty million. Let me see. He's a, you have it in yellow? You have it in yellow? That's, yeah, I got that in yellow. But yeah. it's a one-off yellow because when the sun hits it, it changes colors. To what? A Ooh. different kind of yellow. Pretty. I, 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 I just want to go to the crib and see the collection. That's It's pretty nice. You gotta go, no, you got to go to Terry. I want to see the you sharks. You got to go to Teterboro and see the G6. Who got the G6? Can I borrow that too? I can show you $43 million easy. <laughs> Lord. Well, wow. I got what I'm gonna do with you is take you on. We gonna hit the turnpike and look for Amazon. I'm gonna be right bag. there. If you survive, you good. good. Cause <laughs> yeah. you might just be a head. You know what I'm saying? A head some shoulders. Like I, I'm glad right. I wasn't a head. My friend carrying my cousin carrying me around in a bowling ball bag. <laughs> I believe you love. Take me to the beach where the bitches be. <laughs> <laughs> just sit my head right there where the bitches be. Oh. <laughs> uh, Man, well, Tracy, we appreciate you Thank pulling you up on the pod, man. This was this was a blessing, man. This was funny. It was dope. Thank you. Um, insightful, I motivational. Say nah, out of line. If I do, call me so we can take it out. Nah, nah, nah. I, I don't want to offend anyone. It's good, man. I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to be rude. In these areas. Nah, man. You were you were great, man. So we appreciate that. Everyone, everyone, listen. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure y'all continuing to tune in on this journey, man. And uh, much love. Go Knicks. Go next. Go next.